Hey guys, welcome to the Mighty Sons YouTube channel, the very first video on the, this YouTube channel. And today we're going to be talking about James Cedars, who is making his debut um, against Collingwood on Saturday night at the Metricon Stadium. Now, to be honest, when I saw this, I was surprised, but I also wasn't shocked about this debut. The only reason why I was surprised is because I would have thought maybe Elijah Holland would have got a debut this year before um, James Cedars, but I'm also not shocked because if we go look at his BFL record over the past few um, seasons and even going back to his final season in the Sandfall, he's a very consistent player for um, the Suns VFL um, so far this year. He's racking up the disposals, putting high pressure tackles in that forward line. Um, he's got more expe experience, especially in the bigger games, than um, Elijah Hollands. Also, not having the injury record that Elijah Hollands has. We know he's only just come back from injury in the past couple of weeks um, or months for Gold Coast, um, which, um, even though he is putting in the performances, um, and I saw him at training um, over the week, he... Um, he does look good, he does look sharp, but I feel like he's just going to need that extra bit of time. Maybe won't get his debut this year, even though he has been close. Maybe to the start of next season, he'll get his debut. Anyway, back onto James Cedars. He's played 100 VFL games, only just reached 100 VFL games over the, the last uh, VFL match for the Gold Coast Suns. In, in those um, 100 VFL matches, he's played 29 games for North Ballarat. 63 games at Geelong and obviously just the eight at the Gold Coast Suns. In the VFL, over his 100 game career, he's averaging 24, just under 24 disposals. I think it's 23.8 um, accurate disposals and six and a half tackles per game, which is amazing for a forward. Obviously, in the VFL, he's in that midfield rotation, so we'll get into. Um, in his, in his sample, he's won the Marjorie Medal, which is Sample's best player, as well as winning the Premiership with Woodville West, Woodville West Torrens, where he was averaging almost 30 disposals per game in that season. Um, although he is 27 years of age, yes, he is getting quite old, uh, making his debut at 27. It's, uh, we'll have to see how that comes about, but as we saw with Marlon Pickett, sometimes... You wait for your debut long enough, and you'll you'll play extremely good. Maybe he'll start getting into the lineup more often. Um, and, and as I said, here, expect to turn expect for him to turn up with a bang performance. Um, he loves to wet weather footy. He loves getting his head down under the ball, get in dirty conditions. He's probably going to thrive. It's going to be wet. It's as I'm recording this. It's it's raining here in Brisbane. Um, and I expect it to be rainy up there in the Goldie as well. Um, and where do I think he'll play? Now, this is a big question. Jack Lukosius isn't back yet. Um, he did start, he, he did have a test on Wednesday and was training with the main group of lads in the open training session on Wednesday. So everybody probably would have thought to see him back. Um, now, I, I reckon he'll probably come off the bench initially and play in the half-forward line. Um, he won't play deep forward, I, I wouldn't think. I reckon he'll just stick on that half-forward line uh, and then roll up to the contest, contest further down the ground. Um, but uh, as, as I said, I don't think he, it, it will be a surprise if we see him get some midfield minutes, even if it's just running up and down the wing because he is... A contested ball getter. He will go in hard at the ball. We know that, especially in wet conditions. He's probably better than half the players out there to win the ball um, in wet weather conditions. So don't be surprised if you see him running down the wing. He is quite fit and um, can get out of contest really well. So it's it wouldn't be a bad thing if we have a, a big lumberjack down there um, bursting through packs in the midfield. But yeah, I'm really excited to see where um, James Cedars goes um, uh, tonight. Uh, not tonight, sorry, Saturday night. Uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he goes. Uh, hopefully he kicks a few goals. Hopefully 
put some pressure on that scoreboard as well as um, just some forward pressure. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button for more content as soon as more news comes out regarding the Gold Coast Suns. I'll see you next time. Peace.